A public transit problem still impacting Jacksonville commuters who claim most days of the week their buses are late. A month ago, our Renati Gregorio reported on this issue and a spokesperson for the Jacksonville Transit Authority said the issues will hopefully clear up with upcoming service changes. Well, we are now in the third week of those changes, but some bus riders tell us they're having even more problems. Let's get right out to Renati Gregorio with more on all of this. Good morning, Keitha. Yeah, what's different now is that some of these buses have different routes. They come at different times. But what is the same is multiple commuters who you'll hear from say that they're often left waiting for a bus that never shows up and they're paying for this with their bus passes. The 19 on that particular day never showed up. It's a lot of people is complaining. It's not the first time. Our livelihoods are at stake here. This is not the second time. Yeah, I did take a cab here. And I've taken cabs uh, other places when I'm running errands on weekends because it's basically a joke trying to get a bus. This is something that's been happening since June and you know we, we need a voice. Commuters say late buses multiple times a week, mostly with Route 19 to Arlington, are costing them time and money at their jobs. My bus mates and I, you know, we were like, you know, we've got to do something. We're being late to work. Um, the month of June, I think I was late to work almost 15 times. Bus routes have changed since June, but Robert says the problem persists. It's not that you're missing these buses, right? Because you've been saying that the whole time you would have seen one gone by. No, exactly. In emailed answers to First Coast News's questions, JTA again points to the bus driver shortage as causing problems. They say there have been 13 missed trips on Route 19, but the 97% of trips have been fulfilled. When asked what type of solutions JTA has for consistently late buses, specifics were not named, stating JTA employs a number of measures to minimize missed trips, delays, and other service interruptions. We have to do something better to make sure that everybody's getting to work on time. Sometimes we don't even have enough drivers to even drive the bus. On that note of drivers, JTA tells us they have more than 30 people in training and additional applicants going through the hiring process. The starting salary for an entry level bus operator is $16.43 an hour. Coming up in the next half hour, we're going to talk about a separate problem that another woman is having. Live in downtown Jacksonville, Renata DiGregorio, First Coast News, on your side.